Alright, hello, and this is uh, the first part of my Call of Duty Black Ops Guide. And first we got the first mission in the game, which is Operation 40. Operation 40 is the first single player level. In Call of Duty Black Ops, the mission introduces the player to the story's main characters. The mission takes place in Santa Maria, Cuba, on April 17th, 1961. As player Woods and Bowman attempt to assassinate the Prime Minister of Cuba, Fidel Castro. When you first complete the level, you gain the achievement and trophy, which is a uh, sacrifice. So that's basically a good bit of it. Here's the overview for it. Um, a cutscene plays where an unknown interrogator is asking Mason questions. Mason is electric is electrically shocked multiple times, failing to give satisfactory answers to the questions. Mason has a flashback leading to the start of the assassination of Castro. The mission starts with Woods, Mason, and Bowman speaking to Carlos and Ibarra. Carlos provides them with intel to keep them with their mission. Trapa's soldiers enter the bar with the task force remain calm. A Trapa's officer comes over and grabs Mason, and Woods grabs him and impales him, ha his hand to the counter with his knife, then smashes him in the head with a bottle. Mason then draws an ASP and eliminates the enemy soldiers. Carlos tosses him an M16 and an ACOG and grenade launcher attached. Mason and Woods then exit the bar and commence fighting through the streets. Carlos and Mueller remain in the bar, shooting through windows to provide covering fire. As they fight down the street, Carlos and Bowman enjoy Woods and Mason as they take out police guards. The squad then comes to a large police roadblock which forces them to take an alley to the left. Fortunately for them, there is a car with its open door ready at the end of the alley. Mason jumps in the driver's seat and is tasked with driving the squad through multiple barricades and to safety. After Mason drives through the barricades, he whites out in a cutscene Plays where Mason, fading out of consciousness, is the in the interrogation seat, is given an electrical shock, which forces him back into his flashback. The mission resumes with the squad overlooking a building from the other side of a large gorge. When giving a signal, Mason, Bowman, and Woods zip line over the, to the other side, where Mason and Bowman quickly silently dispatch of enemy guards. On entering the building, Mason is tasked with taking a soldier using a T telephone out with some garrote wire. Then, the, I mean the squad, then exit the house and fight their way to another building. On entering this building, Mason and Woods are faced with heavy resistance. After clearing out, out a room, the squad comes before the door leading to Fidel Castro's room. The squad stack up and... Mason pulls out his ASP. They break open the door, and Castro immediately draws a pistol, using his mistress uh, as a woman shield. Uh, I mean, as a human shield, sorry. <laughs> sorry about that. Um, Mason shoots Castro, and after a short cinematic of the bullet being followed in his flight in slow motion, only occurs with a headshot. Castro's mistress picks up a gun, and his gun down as well. Much to Woods' disgust. The squad then fights its way out of the building through the courtyard and towards an airfield. The squad runs down a cliff while secured with ropes. And they make a break for a hangar uh, where their plane is waiting. The squad enters the plane and Mason is tasked with protecting the plane from damage with an M60. Mason then jumps out of the plane and stays behind it. But in order to use an anti-aircraft gun to clear the runway, Mason is then pulled off the off of the AA gun by Lev Kravchenko and is shoved to the ground and stomped on once. Mason awakens, seeing Fidel Castro and Nikita Dragovich discussing what to do with him. It, it is explained that the squad merely killed a double. Castro tells Dragovich to make sure Mason suffers. The mission ends with Mason in the interrogation chair explaining that Grad Dragovich really did make sure he suffered. Anyways, here's the weaponry.
for uh, the game. Let's see if I can get it in. The starting loadout, the player starts with an ASP. After the police are killed, Carlos throws the player the M16 with grenade launcher and ACOG. And you can find in uh, the level uh, FN... FAL, a Scorpion, an RPK, an M16 is mounted on the plane, and a KS-23. The intel items is located uh, is intel number one located on a crate in a building. After you go up a hill and pass a weapons depot, it will be straight ahead as you follow Woods and Bowman to the building. Intel number two uh, located on the dresser in a bedroom with a bed and TV in the area. You enter after you kill Castro's double and intel number three. Located on the top of a ladder inside the first hangar, you enter after you rappel down the hill airfield. Thank you very much, and that's all for the first mission of Call of Duty Black Ops Operation 40.